Hello, my beautiful siren babies. Ahlan wa sahlan, my beautiful siren bellas. Five dollars if you tell me what language that's in. Boo -doo 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 -doo. All right, you guessed it, Arabic, my family's native tongue. Let's dive right on in. This week I picked up the L'Oreal Visible Lift um, at my local CVS. Its claims are that it has a broad sunscreen spectrum of SPF 17. It's got pro-retinol A and vitamin C, which are purported to help with anti-aging. Um, it looked like a cat hair and I definitely don't have cats. Um, it helps with anti-aging. Um, I imagine the reason why it has an SPF is because it has a retinoid in it. Not sure the percentage, but I think it's kind of a nice idea. Skincare, cosmetics, you'll notice a theme in my most recent videos. 10 points to the human that can tell me which US cosmetic brand was the first to include skincare in their liquid makeup. Go. Ding, ding, ding. Cover girl. Okay, so if I were a guessing person, I would say that this L'Oreal Visible Lift is being marketed towards people like me, 35, 40, and beyond. Um, and I'm okay with that. So I have cleansed, I moisturized for the first time. Don't tell my sister because if she finds out I have it, she'll steal it with the um, Clinique Moisture Surge, founded at Marshalls for under $20, and I scooped her up so fast, you won't even believe it. So, I also found this Kiehl's Ultra Facial, Ultra Facial Cream, so I can't wait to play with both of these. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can skip a primer altogether and just use these uh, moisturizers as primers. All right, so we're just gonna dive right on in. I picked up the shade. One four nine buff beige. She looks extremely warm, but I mean, who knows? I'm gonna give myself a little tan today. I've got my Elf foundation blurring brush on one side, and I've got my L'Oreal beauty sponge on the other. Love her. If you're looking for a fantastic sponge, don't hesitate. Hesitation causes accidents. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake her up. I have a feeling she's going to be quite liquidy. She's got a gorgeous pump says we're gonna get a luminous result. I've got three pumps. Oh, it's not as, oh wow. Okay, one more thing. Yesterday at Marshall's, I went to go pick up some school items for my son and I bit the bullet and I picked up the Monster of Mirrors. She was $19.99, which is a lot of fucking money for a mirror, don't tell my mom, but she's got this like, ultra magnified side like magnified to the point that I almost don't recognize my face but I'm super excited to test her out today so she's got a regular side she's got a irregular side and today I'm looking at god how irregular I really am lord have mercy dear Dina it's me Margaret are you there I've got my billion dollar brushes paintbrush I'm gonna go ahead and Oh yeah, I'm gonna be super warm today. Go ahead and paint her on first. Oh Lord have mercy, I got the wrong damn color. And apparently I did not pick her up at CVS, I picked her up at Giant. Oh Lord, abort, abort. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, all right. Uh, note to selves, multiple selves. Buff beige is not buff beige. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and more work, less play. I look like a caramel frappuccino, no bullshit. Oh my dear God. If my sister or my son saw me now, they would legit be shocked. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge, 
dip it into what's left on my hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend. I feel so defeated. I'm normally pretty good at picking my shade. All right, today we're gonna pretend that we just came back from Bora Bora. Even though I don't know where Bora, where the fuck is, is it? Oh my God, is it like near the Philippines or Indonesia? Please comment down below and help alleviate my ignorance. I'm so embarrassed. All right. I didn't realize that my son was gonna have Friday off and Monday off. So first week of school, he gets a four day vacation. And I think that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, but the thing is, is that he's got substantial homework. Um, but yeah, he's got a ton of Arabic homework. He's taking Arabic. My Oreo baby is learning Arabic. His grandmother, who is Syrian, could not be more tickled pink. Um, <laughs> when he came home today, he's like, Mom, we have to practice um, pron pronouncing the letters, the alphabet. Can you help me? And I was like, absolutely. So we're in the car, you know. I didn't know if that meant like right now or, you know, later. And you know how teenagers are. Like, he's 14 and I'm not as cool as I think I am. I'm trying, but I'm really not. So I said, do you want to practice now while we're in the car? And he's like, sure. So we get through the first couple letters. So in the Arabic alphabet, it's alif. Pretend alif is A. So alif, B, T, Th, Ha, Kh. So when we got to Kh, Kh amongst native English speakers, Kh tends to be, Kh and Ain are not the most seamless sounds you know what i'm saying and so you know you have to say things like ha like if you're hawking a loogie but without actually like injuring your fucking vocal cords he started with the ha and he was being a little shy with it i'm like go with it you know that's the thing in arabic like you gotta open your mouth you gotta get that throat nice and lubricated and you gotta just go for it so i was trying to give him a reference point all right so i was like all right i'm gonna tell you a secret in arabic the word for shit is khara, khara. If you're under 18, do not go saying khara in front of your parents, especially if you're an Arabic speaker. Don't let me catch you. All right, so he was so excited to repeat it. So he was like khara, and I mean the kh came out like he'd been speaking Arabic his whole life. So when we were getting through, I was trying to give him another word and I was like, fuck. Another word that starts with kha is my mom's first name, which is khulud. So when I told my mom that I taught him khara shit before khulud, she was not happy with me. She was actually quite disappointed. But I've been disappointing her for 43 years, so I'm kind of used to it. Let's assess. Looking in my NASA mirror. Um, in the magnified version, this foundation is not doing me any, any favors. Now when I flip it to the unmagnified version, excuse me, um, I think my mom is correct. I think that for a foundation that purports to be smoothing and illuminating, I think that it's accentuating all of my pores. Um, I don't know what the claims are as far as medium or full coverage, but I still see, you know, the redness in my cheeks, the lines in my forehead, you know, and any texture that I have there. It just kind of feels like it's clinging. And having put on that Clinique Moisture Surge and a generous amount of it, I'm really, really surprised. Um, sometimes I use a pore filling primer, other times I don't. The shade isn't as offensive now that I've blended it down my neck, but I don't know you guys. Um, I definitely would not try to build this up. I think it would look far, actually, you know what? Let me side, see if I can't, I'm gonna actually take um, my e.l.f. brush and see if I can't just build up in the center. Now, I think what would um, work really well with this foundation is powder. And I don't always use face powder. So um, it did build up. You know, some days you're just having like a dry day. Like today, I just felt dehydrated. So it's just really possible that 
my face is a little bit overworked because I have been filming um, quite a bit more. So this is what she looks like. I don't bring, um, you know, foundation on the bridge of my nose because I like the freckles to show. I tend to go a little lighter on the forehead, but I don't think I went as light. Let me turn the, um, this is what she looks like with the beauty lights down. My forehead. My chin. Tell me what you think. I don't know. It's it's looking a little heavy. Um, I'm going to hop off camera, put on the rest of my face, and when I come back, we're going to talk foundation. This is the final look. I'm about to take you out front so you can see it in the natural sunlight. I'm going to wear it for the next five, six hours and see how the foundation settles or disappears or melts or congeals. I'm a poet. You just don't know it. Yeah! All right, be All right, right bugs. The official check-in time is 5.05. .05. The foundation's been on for about 30 minutes. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. I'm going to have to ask my mother what she thinks like in the face-to-face, -face, but, you know, bring it up close a little bit. You can see all my texture here and here. That's just a given. Forehead, my cheek. But as far as the shade, what went from like super warm and orangey just seems to have blended out. And the powders and the concealer seem to have worked too. And I just want to give a shout out to one of my old tried and true, tried and true, like I'm talking about like underwear or like bicycle tires. But um, best friend Sarah R, if you're watching, um, when I was at Marshall's yesterday, I saw this watermelon shirt and immediately thought of you and if I could put it on you I would but please know that every time I see a watermelon my heart does a cartwheel and I think of you uh, watermelons will never be the same so anyhow um, I will be back hi love bugs it is currently 7 23 in the evening and I figured I would just pop on in because usually if I am wearing a foundation that enhances my oiliness um, within the first hour hour and a half I can see the damage so looking in my mega monster mirror um, I see a slight sheen on my cheeks and actually I think it's actually just the highlighter that I applied a little shiny right here on the uh, bridge of my nose it's 828 foundation's been on for about three hours and some change. This is about the most strenuous activity that I'm doing this evening. And um, while I still have a little bit of sheen, shine, glow, foundation's holding up really, really well. It's my final check-in. 11.59. Can you see me? Good night. Wash your face. Yep, I fell asleep with my makeup on again. Good morning, 
love bugs. It's Friday. Karma's ready for her morning romp with her ball. I had to show you my face. When I woke up, my face looked so pretty. The foundation didn't break up. It didn't collect. The only place that it looked a little, you know, is around the corner of the nose, but that's just a regular day. Maybe it's better if I use the same base that I did yesterday so I can do like a fair uh, side by side. But yeah, um, I'm gonna, so we're gonna go into day two of the L'Oreal Vis Visible Lift Serum Foundation. And um, I hope you keep watching. Love you guys. Bugs, we meet again on the toilet on day two of the L'Oreal Visible Lift Wear Test. Aside from the fact that I think I just rubbed 82% of the foundation off my nose and my mustache. Jesus Christ. Um, it's been a long day. I've had this on for the past four hours, filmed three videos, edited two of them, helping my son write a term paper for World History AP. I'm fucking tired, but I wanted to come back and say that my opinion has remained the same. I think the foundation is beautiful. Today I applied it with a dry, wet and wild beauty sponge. I actually like the finish with the sponge better than I do the paintbrush and I can't remember what I used to blend it. I think it was my e.l.f. foundation brush. If I'm wrong, forgive me. Um, I just wanna say thank you again for hanging out with me. If you pick up the foundation, let me know what you think. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you repurchase it? I love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you soon. Stop. Ah. Hey, come. Sit. Sit. Oh, good girl. Good girl. There she is. Um, repairing. What the hell is on my... Okay. Um, it looked like a cat here, and I definitely don't have cats. 